Let's connect the TP-Link RE650 via WPS. First of all, you need to make sure that the extender is plugged in next to your router within the 16 feet distance and the power indicator on the extender is glowing solid blue. Of course, your router must be connected to the internet and broadcasting Wi-Fi. Check for this as well. And then you can start to connect. It's super easy. Just locate the WPS button on your router and press this button. And then press the WPS button on the extender, where it is. <laughs> this is the biggest button on this rotor, right in the center. So all you need to do just is just wait, uh, wait for all indicators on the extender to start glowing solid blue. It means that connection is established and you can use it. So it may take up to two minutes. So on this step, you need just be patient and wait. Once you see this picture, it means everything is ready. And the only exception is if you have a single band rotor, you will not see 5 GHz indicator. Uh, but now uh, you can take any of your Wi-Fi gadgets and go to Wi-Fi settings and monitor for new networks. Uh, the extender's network will be named the same as the rotor's network, but with the EXT abbreviation added to the end. EXT stands for extender. So my Wi-Fi is my main rotor and my Wi-Fi EXT is the extender's network. Let's wait for 5 gigahertz. If it seems you're waiting too long, you can restart the Wi-Fi. But I recommend you just to wait. That's it, my Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz. Let's connect. Connect it without password, but if you're asked to enter password, the password is the same as for uh, your main router. But later you can change it in your web browser or the application. Let's measure the speed, let's test the speed. Good enough, good enough for home office, for YouTube, for movies and so on, but uh, to be honest, it's almost twice slower than main network. Uh, this is because this is just range extender. If you wish to use, use the maximum capabilities of this device, you need to connect it via Ethernet cable directly to your router or LAN socket and use as a nexus point. It gives you significantly uh, higher speed. Uh, for now, you're all set. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and be awesome. Bye, guys.